Greetings, my most loyal ally. I speak to you now from beyond the Veil of Death, here in this place of eternal darkness. My work, my penance, continues. Though the Maw is an unlikely place for one to find peace, each soul I rescue helps mine feel a little more... whole. As I ponder my deeds since being raised into undeath, I have many regrets. Things said and choices made that I wish could be taken back. But there is one thing for which I will always be proud. Helping the Forsaken find their place in a world that shunned them. My time to lead may be over, but I will always stand with you against those who would cast you out and call you monsters. Under the leadership of the Desolate Council, a new group of voices has arisen to represent all Forsaken. Stand proud in the Horde. No that all of you were so much more than arrows in my quiver. As much as the family I was born into, you will always be my people. And one day, I do hope to walk among you once again. I must go. There are many more souls yet to be freed. Among them, one that is most dear to me. Shorella Ran, my friend. Within this hall, we shared ceremonies, celebrations, and tragedy. I loved my family, and on one fateful day, I lost them all. Now I am all that remains of the once proud Menethil line. The last heir to a legacy that ended in shame. So you ran away from the pain. I did too. But it was only when I stopped running that I understood. Those people out there, they're my family now. But will they ever truly accept me? Bearing a name forever stained by a brother's sins. Just as these flagstones are stained by my father's blood. We are all the same here, Kalia. Seeking our place, despite everything we've lost. But it's a long road. And we will need your help. Then, let us find our place. Together. As forsaken. In the wake of the Fourth War, the Forsaken have begun to rebuild in Tirisfall Glades. Lordaeron is a land fraught with memories and pain. I'm not certain what sort of welcome I'll receive, but I ask that you meet me there. What have we here? The Menethil Princess. <laughs> Don't you mean what are we going to do about her? She did it and survived. No more Banshee Queen. The Forsaken have many different points of view, and we should be led by a council, not a single ruler. My fellow Dark Rangers and I are with you. 
Are we really going to trust a Menethil on the Council? But I have no desire for a throne. My place is here among you, and I vow to serve all our people. I take you at your words, Lady Menethil. And we, the Apothecaries, will help shape our brighter future. For Lordaeron. Then it's settled. We are the Desolate Council. We are the Forsaken. When we Dark Fallen Elves were raised into undeath, Silvermoon shunned us. All that we knew, all that we loved, had been lost. In time, we found a place here within the ruins of Lordaeron. But after it was blighted in the war, we feared we had lost this home too. Today, we not only reclaimed our legacy, we began a new path forward. And for aiding our cause, we owe you a great debt. Together with all the Forsaken, we will build a future here. You will always be welcome among the Dark Rangers, friend. Hadiel Shala. Farewell. This... this is a problem. The Scarlet Crusade has overrun parts of Silver Pine Forest and made a base on Fenris Isle. We don't have the numbers to dislodge them outright. But we have to drive them out of our lands and protect our home. There is no other option. We fight. And I will collect Kalia and the Banshees for support. We will meet you at the Sepulchre soon. What would you ask of death? Even our allies are fearful of our use of these... mixtures. It is very necessary, my dear. This recipe spreads best by detonation. And, well, it's just fun. Master Apothecary, are you sure this concoction will not harm our own? Science is never perfectly safe, but it won't harm us. Once you have taken the Lieutenant's armor, you will be able to move unopposed through their encampment. And remember, even the Scarlet Recruits are dangerous. We cannot let them reinforce the others and get stronger. What... What have I become? Well, that... That brings back memories. We all have pieces of our past that shame us, Lillian. But we are working toward a better future. Together. Together. Uh, could we hurry it along? I can't wait to deploy this improved formula. You should get moving. When you've weakened the Scarlet defenses, find me on Fenris Isle and we will bring in the rest of our forces. Pieces of my past. It's like they're standing in front of me again, trying to scare me. But now, they should fear me. Do you not see that the world would be better off without the Forsaken in it? Monsters, die in the light! We will survive! Is that all there is? It is done. We've retaken the Isle. Let's regroup downstairs and get back to the capital. You not only helped us reclaim our home after the plague, but you defended it when it was under threat. You represent what it means to be forsaken. To take care of our own, 
with our unique ingredients. Our strength. Our determination. Our cunning. Our hope. And together, we will endure as the Forsaken. What is this? What are you doing, my son? Succeeding you, father. Oh. <gasps> My own death came at the hands of Arthas, when he and his armies sacked my homeland, Quel'Thalas, and murdered my people. vast cruelty? Arthur severed my spirit from my body and raised me as a banshee to serve in his scourge army. A similar fate befell all that would die to the scourge war machine. In death, they were reborn as mindless undead, but Arthas was not invincible. With each passing day his power waned, his grip over the will of the damned loosening. It was when Arthas was at his weakest that I struck. And though the hour of his atonement had come, the worm managed to escape his fate, returning to the frozen wastes of Northrend. With Arthas gone, so too was the control he held over the undead masses of Lordaeron. After recovering my body, I freed the remaining scourge that were left behind. From the cruelty and mercilessness of Arthas, the man who would be Lich King, the Forsaken were born. Our goal, our sole purpose, was to destroy the Lich King. We threw our lot in with the Horde and began our journey towards redemption. Now, the Lich King is dead, and we have returned. The people who called this land their home in life do so in death as well. But the Alliance does not recognize our rights. They claim this land as their own while attempting to invalidate the claims of the founders of this kingdom. I will never allow it. Never! Lordaeron belongs to the Forsaken. Always and forever. <laughs>